most people are familiar with Kubernetes as one of the best container orchestration engine. But there are also other good container orchestration engines. And in this video, we will see what are the top 3 container orchestration engines and some of its trends. Hello and welcome to Top 3 Container Orchestration Engines. My name is Srina Challa. I am a Certified Kubernetes Administrator. Before you watch this video, it is good to have a basic understanding of what is Container Orchestration Engine. In case if you need a help with that, then please do check link in the description below. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the things you will be learning in this video. There are 6 major things that we will be learning as part of this video. First, I will show you at a high level what are the top 3 container orchestration engines and then we will discuss in depth about each of them. First, we will discuss about the marathon from Apache Mesos. After that, we will discuss about the docker swarm from docker Inc. Then, we will briefly discuss about the Kubernetes. I made a dedicated video where I discussed in detail about Kubernetes in this series. Link to that video is provided in the description below. Then we will discuss about this some of the cloud specific container services. And finally, we will discuss about the way to choose right container orchestration engines based on your team size and number of containers. So these are the some of the objectives of this video. And now let's get started with our first thing in this video and that is what are the top 3 container orchestration engines? The top 3 container orchestration engines that we are going to discuss in this video are Marathon from Apache Mesos, Docker Swarm from Docker Inc. and finally the gold standard of container orchestration engines which is Kubernetes. First, let's get started with Marathon from Apache Mesos in next slide. If you take enterprise data center where it consists of many physical servers and virtual machines. In most cases, we manage these servers individually or group of servers by VMware or other cluster manager. But how about managing all the servers inside the data center and treat that as one big supercomputer? That is where Apache Mesos comes in. So, Apache Mesos is an open source cluster manager which abstracts the CPU, memory and storage and other compute resources away from these machines. These machines can be the physical machines or the virtual machines. Once all the nodes are connected and have the cluster in place, then we can submit the different types of jobs. And some of the job includes cron job, Hadoop, Spark and Jenkins jobs are some of the examples of Apache Mesos jobs. And in the same way, there is a job for orchestrating containers. The job name is called as Marathon. So Apache Mesos Marathon is the first container orchestration engine out there. It came even before the Kubernetes, Docker Swarm and others. So in Apache Mesos, for each job, there is a something called framework. So there are total of about 20 plus frameworks including the Marathon framework for container orchestration. And I need to clear something up here. And there is a big confusion out there. People are comparing Apache Mesos with Kubernetes. It's like comparing the oranges with lemons. Oranges has a kind of look like lemon but not exactly the same. And in the same way, Apache Mesos Marathon is just one of the 20 plus frameworks that Apache Mesos supports. But people are taking out Marathon from its name and comparing just the Apache Mesos with other container orchestration engines such as Kubernetes. So in case if you come across any situation like this, then they just think that they meant Apache Mesos Marathon. The kind of a drawback for Apache Mesos is it is a bit complicated to set up than other container orchestration engine. So who uses the Apache Mesos Marathon? Typical users of Mesos are large enterprises that require lots of compute, job tasks oriented workloads. Mesos is often used by companies 
that have to perform the big data jobs. Apache Mesos can be driven by developers rather than operations, but you require an operation team to manage the tool. So that's an high level overview of Apache Mesos Marathon. And now let's take a look at another container orchestration engine. The next one is from Docker family, and that is Docker Swarm. Docker Swarm is another great product from Docker Inc. This product is focused on container orchestration. It is written in same programming language as the Docker Container Engine, which is Golang. It is a lightweight declarative language. Docker Swarm is easy to get started, set up, and understand. And it has the simplest architecture when compared to other container orchestration engines. If you're new to container orchestration, then it is a good idea to start with Docker Swarm. So, who are the typical users of Docker Swarm? Mainly smaller to medium sized teams, like startups or medium sized companies. And I've only seen the Docker Swarm using in brand new greenfield projects. It is extremely easy and takes about just about 5 to 10 minutes to really set up this form cluster. So one of the best thing about the Docker Swarm is zero to dev experience is super easy. And this is mainly driven by the teams that are mostly developers who need to deploy new products. And the final gold standard of container orchestration is Kubernetes. This is like Linux OS in the enterprise operating system space. There are many different OSs, but Linux is a go-to operating system in most of the cases. And same applies for the Kubernetes in container orchestration space. There are two reasons for this. One, there is a strongest community behind the Kubernetes than any other open source project. Second, it is straight out of Google Inc. And now it is donated to and managed by Cloud Native Foundation, in short, CNCF. And we'll discuss about the Kubernetes in another separate dedicated video after this. So that's about the Kubernetes at a very, very high level. Next, there are some cloud-based container services that we'll be seeing in next slide. As most of us are aware, there are primarily three cloud providers, which occupy more than 80% of the market share. As some of you guessed it right already, they are Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and Amazon Web Services. Each of these cloud providers offers the services to manage containers at a large scale. First, we have a Google Kubernetes engine. Since Google has been using containers since more than a decade, so they know better about how to manage containers at a large scale than anyone else. Kubernetes is from Google. So they leverage the same tool to manage containers on Google Cloud. Next, EC2 Container Services, and then Azure Container Services. Although they have their own way of managing containers, but they provide an option for using Kubernetes on their own platforms. So these are some of the cloud-specific container services. Now in the next slide, we'll see a graph to see which is the best container orchestration engine that best fits to your organization based on the size. Here is a simple chart with X and Y axis. On X axis, we have the size of the team from few to many. And Y axis, we have the range of hosts and containers from few to many. Let's assume that you have a large development team and they have a large number of hosts and containers. So in that scenario, the best tool for you is Kubernetes or Apache Mesos Marathon. As you can see, Kubernetes stands at the top when compared to the Apache Mesos Marathon. However, Marathon might be a good fit in case if you want to leverage some of the other frameworks that Apache Mesos offers along with Marathon. If you just want to use the container orchestration engine, then Kubernetes would be a go-to solution for you. I understand not all teams are big in size and has a large number of hosts and containers. In case if you fall in that mid range, then Docker Swarm and Rancher will be a good fit. As we already discussed about the Docker Swarm, so moving on to the Rancher. Initially, Docker was designed to run container on a single host. 
So Rancher came into offering managing containers on multiple hosts. So that was about 1.0 of Rancher. Now Rancher 2.0 is kind of a support product for Kubernetes cluster management. Either you create a Kubernetes cluster within your private infrastructure or in the public cloud, Rancher offers to centrally manage all the Kubernetes cluster. Mainly it provides a clean user interface, user management, RBAC, logging, and monitoring are some of the features. So Rancher is now like a layer product on top of Kubernetes. Finally, we have Nomad. The primary difference between Nomad and other container orchestration engines are, Nomad just offers the cluster management and scheduling and designed with Unix philosophy. Whereas other container orchestration systems offer more than cluster management and scheduling, such as service discovery, monitoring, secrets management, and so on. So you should think twice when you're thinking about Nomad. So to recap everything here, Kubernetes and Marathon are good for larger organizations and Docker and Rancher is good for medium scale and Nomad is for someone who just want to manage clustering and scheduling. Overall, if anyone is thinking about container orchestration engine, then they should give a first thought about Kubernetes. Now, moving on to the summary. First thing that we discussed in this video is what are the top three container orchestration engines? They are Apache Mesos Marathon, Docker Swarm, and Kubernetes. Then we discussed in detail about Apache Mesos Marathon. Apache Mesos contains about 20 plus frameworks. And one of the frameworks that supports the container orchestration is Marathon from Apache Mesos. Apache Mesos has a bit of complex setup than any other container orchestration engines. It is best suited for the mid to large scale companies who wants to use other frameworks besides using container orchestration framework called Marathon. Next thing that we discussed is Docker Swarm. Docker Swarm is a container orchestration engine product from Docker Inc. It is one of the simplest and easy to set up container orchestration engines out there. However, this is little less mature when compared to other container orchestration engine. It is ideal product for companies whose team size is small. After that, we discussed about the container orchestration engine, which is considered as gold standard of container orchestration engines. And that is Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a popular and most mature container orchestration engine out there. We discussed very briefly about that in this video because there is a separate dedicated video where I discussed why Kubernetes is best container orchestration engine out there. Then we discussed briefly about cloud-based container orchestration services. After that, I showed you how you can select best suitable container orchestration engine based on your size of your team. Where I mentioned, Kubernetes and Marathon are good for larger organization and teams, and Docker and Rancher is good fit for medium scale companies and teams, and Nomad is for someone who just want to manage clustering and scheduling functionality. So overall, if anyone is thinking about container orchestration engine, then they should give a first thought about Kubernetes. And now, this topic leads to our next topic, and which is what is and why Kubernetes. In that video, I discussed about what is Kubernetes and why it is one of the most popular container engines out there. Link to that video is provided in the description below. And finally, thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video.